Hi there. After six months living in the van, we've realized we need to upgrade some things in our garage, our bike tray that we pull our bikes out with, and also we decided we're gonna make another tray for cargo just to make things easier to get to. So what we've come up with is we've got these super heavy duty drawer slides we got from Fulterer. I'll put a part number and a description or a link below or something like that so you can see what these are. These are 450 pound, 50 inch locking drawer slides. And they work like this. You lift this little lever to unlock it and then they slide out like that, 50 inches. To mount these, we got the Fulterer mounting brackets. So that's two to mount the slide to the floor, and then another two to mount the, the drawer, or in our case, our tray, to the slide. So what you see over here, there's two on this piece, and then there's also two that are gonna mount these to the floor. In our case, the ones we got, the 50 inch slides, required three pairs of the shortest ones and one pair of the longest ones. And I'm only showing one because the other one's already mounted, of course. But I wanted to show you how these fit together. Because you gotta find where the holes line up and you gotta open the slide so that you can access inside to where you mount them. So I've already marked these, but as you can see, a whole bunch of different holes to choose from here and I just kind of had to figure out which ones make it work so I've marked those there and then I've marked these on the outside so I'll put that together first I'm going to turn it around so it, so I can set it in here so the mounting brackets include the mounting hardware so you got a button head bolt which comes up in this case through here and onto here and then they also include nylon locking nuts the one up forward here is a little different okay I've turned this around so the one that I mounted just now is back here this one needs to mount right here, but as you can see, we have to move this out of the way to get to it. So here's one hole that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to slide this back in to access that hole. So this is where it gets a little more tricky, but that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to start, button head screw goes in. You'll know you did it wrong if you do it the other way and put it this way with the nut on it because this thing won't slide because it's too long. So the bolt has to go from the inside towards the outside on here. And then you also need to find the right set of holes on the bracket to put it through so that you can make sure the other hole is going to line up with holes on the bracket as well. So there's one. And there's the other one. So, I now have it set up so that this can mount to the floor. Okay, so now I'm going to put the short one out here because it's easier to get to and it'll give me something to grab to slide this drawer slide back and forth. I want to go to the second one here, second hole on the bracket, and then I want to go to the third hole at this end of the bracket. Now, we just got the long one to put on, two inches from this end. So I think the last hole is gonna be this guy right here. And then the second hole is gonna be that guy right there. Now, since this one's exposed, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it right now. And then, this is the trickiest part of the whole thing. I need to slide this one far enough. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over so you can see this one. I know I wanna go into this last hole, 
from looking at the others that I've already positioned. And there's the last hole. You have to pull this all the way out so that this little hole in this bracket will allow you access to it. And now we'll put that guy on. One thing I forgot to mention is these ones that the drawer is going to mount to, you want to put the bolts through the bottom set of holes, not the top set. So now that should slide nicely. This one I need to move because I made a mistake and put them through the top row of holes. The top row of holes is for the ones that mount this to the van. All right, now, there, that works. And that's how they work. That's how you put those on. The next thing to do is determine where you want to position these so that you know how wide to cut your trays that you're going to use. So I'll show you that part next. Using our old tray as a guide and knowing that we want to put two more bikes on it, what we've determined is that we need at least 25 and a half inches. 25 would probably do it, but 20, 25 and a half would be better. Not only that, but we also have several of these milk crates that we like to store things in. And it turns out the tray on this side is gonna be 26 inches wide. And the tray on this side is gonna be about 13 and 3 eighths inches wide. So that's the width. As far as length, they're going to be the same length as our old one, which is 68 inches. So the trays will be 68 inches long, but the drawer slides are only 50 inches. So I need about 18 inches cut in half, 9 inches off of each end because I want to put these mounted in the center so that they're even off each end. So that means these are going to be mounted about 9 inches forward of the rear end of the floor. And then the other thing I did too, as I was positioning these, I offset these so that this, this whole assembly is gonna be about one inch forward of this one. And the reason for that is that way these bolts will not hit each other and it allows me to get about another half inch of, of width on there. So now that I know where they're gonna go, the next thing is to attach them. So I got these number 12 wood screws. They're one inch long, got a real stout thread on them. I'm gonna put about five in each one of these brackets just because I wanna make absolutely sure this thing is gonna be anchored to the floor. Okay, so I got all the screws put in. I've got these mounted to the floor. Um, I actually went ahead and put in some extra pieces up here. These are called mending strips. They're little pieces of steel you can find at the hardware store. I put them on right there because that's where the seam is between the two sheets of plywood on the floor. And right there I know underneath I have a furring strip so I could put some deeper screws. So I went with two inch screws on those guys. And that just gives it a little bit more insurance for me that once these things are pulled all the way out and all that weight is out here, that there's something up there good and strong holding this to the floor. So this is done, that's cool, and just in time because look what just arrived. This is our aluminum for the trays. This is exciting. file the edges a bit but there they are let's see if they fit go about there. okay about like that all right so that's going to fit about like that and we'll try the other one Cool. All right. OK, 
Okay, so I'll mark it and drill it for holes for mounting and also for the bike mounts. So marking the trays for drilling is going to be pretty straightforward, which is cool. The holes on the vertical pieces are very similar to the holes on the bottom part. So if I can find one that matches up, I can just use that once I got the tray in place to mark it. And then with this all the way against the edge, we are exactly one inch out from there. So I can come down here just forward of this, put a little mark there, and then come out one inch from this edge. And there's where I drill my first mounting hole. I'll do the same at this end. And one inch, and there it is. So the next thing to do is mark the rest of these, drill them all, mark the holes for the bike mounts, drill those. But before I do anything, I'm gonna take these things out and put them in the garage. I'm gonna sand down the edges or file the edges because these things are really sharp. All right, I went ahead and filed these edges so they're nice and smooth. They're not gonna cut anybody, so that's nice. Um, and now it's just a matter of mounting this plate down onto these mounting brackets. If you look here, you can see that I have already put some bolts up from the bottom with nuts on the top. So I've got two on this mounting bracket, two on that mounting bracket, and I've only got one on each of these. And the reason for that is I can only reach one from underneath on this one because there's no way to get under here to put those on. So what I've done is I've temporarily removed the bolts that were holding these brackets to the drawer slide. So I removed two from this bracket, two from that bracket. I left one here and one here, and I removed the forward ones. And the reason for that is now I can pull this back and I can pivot the whole thing up on these ones that I left in. And now I can get underneath to put these in. I just line these holes up with where they need to be. And I just put these four back and this thing's done. Okay, everything's bolted back together. So now we have a finished drawer. Pretty cool. So next we're going to position all the bikes on the large one on this side to figure out how to get them all to fit. We're going to drill all the holes, put all the fork mounts in. Okay, you can see we've got bikes all over the driveway here. We had taken them all, took the handlebars off a couple of them. We took this tray here and we set it down on the, on the driveway and we positioned all four bikes to make sure we could get them to fit. Once we got it where we thought it would work, we put this thing inside the van and we went ahead and put all the bikes on in the van as well, just to make sure that because there's handlebars that need to clear different things in there. So we did make a couple of small adjustments, but basically we got everything figured out. So now we've got the locations for the front fork mounts. So there's four of these and basically all we got to do now is bolt them down to the tray. Uh, we are going to use a block of wood under these just to make this easier to turn. You can turn it like this, but you get a little more leverage if you can turn it like that. And it's just easier to be able to spin the thing. So that's the way we're going to do it. I drilled the holes a little bit large. We're using quarter by 20 bolts, but I drilled a little bit larger hole just so I'd have some room for error just in case they weren't exactly in the right position. So basically, we're just going to bolt all of this together, and this tray is going to be done just like that one.
we got the bikes on. Let's see how it works. <laughs> cool. We are so excited. We've been wanting this for a long, long time. This is a big day. So that's done. The cargo tray is done. The only thing we have left to do is drill holes for these front wheel mounts. And they're going to go something like that. And something like that. And it's all finished. We got everything loaded up here. This is the way it's going to work. And we are ready for the next project. So give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you. And subscribe to our channel as well. And you can see more videos like this. And be sure to look at the description below because we put links to all of the products we use to build this project. So, thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. And if you're wondering what's going on here, we are in the Midwest. Uh, we're in Iowa and I am not used to this weather. It is 75 degrees today with 82% humidity. So I'm just dripping sweat just standing here. Anyway, I just wanted to make that clear.